Good morning. I'm so excited to go to the beach. This is my outfit. I'm kind of in a rush because I want to be there before 12 and I just want to bask in the sun and read. But this is what we're wearing today. This dress is from Depop. And then I'm wearing a bikini from Black Bow Swimwear. I love this bikini though and it's perfect for tanning. But this is what I'm bringing to the beach. So we have an extra little cardigan in case it gets chilly at night. I have my book and my book sleeve. I'll show you the books later. And then in my wallet, that towel is from Target. This little bag is actually, I think, a diaper bag or one of those mom toddler bags because it says skip hop and I looked it up and they have a bunch of other diaper bags. But this makes for such a great bag because of all the little compartments. That's why I wanted to bring it with me to the beach. Then we have my keys and in this little Sunrio Ziploc that I love, it's from Daiso. I have some pads, some floss, um, some cables in here for my portable charger. Then we have a hand sanitizer, Flonase, uh, what is this, deodorant, but I barely use it now because I switched to the Ordinary Glycolic Acid, so I had put that on last night after my shower. I have this Jo Malone Tiny Perfume in Lemon and Basil, I think. And then I have a lip gloss, this Laneige Glowy Balm, that's my favorite. There's literally like one squeeze left in this. But I also have an SPF lip balm in here because last summer I burnt my lips because I was on a boat the whole day and yeah, that was not fun. Here is a, an emergency kit. So I have like bobby pins, band-aids, um, other random things, extra hair ties. And then I have my sunscreens. So we have a Trader Joe's body sunscreen. You can use it for your face, but I have put on the Shiseido one instead. And this is the sunscreen stick. I tried it on for the first time the other day. This is my second time using it and I love it. It's a 50 plus and it just smells so good. It glides on so nicely and I can just reapply it later today. And then we have this travel sunscreen. I don't recommend this one. I don't like this one. I just want to use it up. And then I have this hand cream. And did I say portable charger? Yes, so this is all of the items for the beach. These are the other things that I'm bringing with me. So I made a smoothie. I put strawberries, bananas, celery, collagen powder, what else? Greens powder, cacao powder, um, cinnamon powder, ground cinnamon, and chia seeds. And I totally forgot my vitamin C liquid supplement and also peanut butter. And then I have my gallon water. I kind of don't want to bring it, but I need to stay hydrated. I just am scared that I'll need to pee a lot while I'm at the beach. And then here, I have this Biscoff cookie from the airport. And then I have this bag of cauliflower chips. And these are so good. They're from Aldi. They're pretty salty. And I'm going to eat it with my tofu scramble that I made. I put tofu, turmeric, salt, pepper, spinach and Roma tomatoes. And I'm just gonna eat it with the chips as like a dip, but I have it in this little lunch box. This is the vitamin C liquid supplement that I forgot to add. I usually just put a teaspoon in my smoothie, but you can also take it directly, which it says in the back. But this tastes pretty great. I love orangey flavors, citrusy flavors. And I got this from Whole Foods and it's a fairly new, ingredient that I put into my smoothies. I feel like I'm bringing my entire apartment with me. It just feels so bulky, but that's okay. You know better. Safe than sorry. I have yet to even grab my water bottle, but this is what we're looking like. just read all day. I got a day pass for parking so I'm literally just gonna be here till the sun sets and then I'm gonna drive back but that's my little lawn chair and I just like to keep all my things up here so sand doesn't get in it 
and then I'm just laying on my towel. So this is my little setup. These are the two books that I'm gonna read for today. I've started both of them, so hopefully I can finish both of them today. But this one is called How to Kill a City. It's about gentrification. And this was recommended by an urban planner on TikTok. And I was very intrigued. So I also wanna use this as a resource for my class that I'm teaching in the fall. So, so far it's really good. And then Master Your Emotions. I started this last year and now I am halfway through. And I noticed in the back that there are journal prompts and I'm gonna try to do that today as well as part of my self-care. It's a Thursday so there's not too many people and right now it's pretty much just like older people slash couples and it's a nice relaxing vibe. So we are at Wrightsville Beach actually. I've been here before with my sister and I love it here because it's so calm and relaxing and the sunset is so beautiful but I originally found out about it because this is where they filmed, or this is one of the beaches where they filmed The Summer I Turned Pretty, which is um, that book that turned into a show on Prime. And it was my guilty pleasure TV show last summer. And since summer's coming up soon, I kind of want to rewatch it. I had the books on hold on Libby, but literally it was like 58 weeks worth of waiting and I didn't want to wait for that and it was also not in order. The last book was the book that I could get the soonest and the first book was the book that I had to wait the longest for so I was like maybe I'll just be a fan of the show and not really the books. I started munching on my tofu scramble and we're just gonna people watch and listen to music for now. It's around 5 p.m. and it's clearing up. A lot of people are leaving. It's nice and breezy out and it's perfect because the sun is very hot but the wind makes it cool down. I think part of self-care is like I said, trying to be in the present moment. It is hard to stay in the present moment because you have a lot of thoughts going on and it's easy to overthink. But that's why I went out here so I can literally just soak in the sun, soak in the scenery. And I feel like this was such a great decision and I feel a hundred times better. Not like I was feeling super down anyways but it was just so refreshing to be at the beach to first of all throw away the trash and switch over to the bench so i left my chair and everything back in my car um, and I'm just going to read on this little bench. Here's the bench. It's still really nice out. I think it's around 6. So I finished the Master Your Emotions book. And I really liked it. It gave a lot of practical advice. So I highlighted a bunch of different things. But I really wanted to do the questions in the back to journal. But then I realized it's not enough space and I'd rather just write it in a separate journal. So I was planning to do that as part of my self-care today, but I think I'll just do it on another day. And then this book, I have maybe like a quarter left. So I'm gonna try to finish it today.
next day. It is a Friday and today we have a regular ordinary day where I have some household tasks to complete and a meeting and schoolwork to do and I also want to do some regular healthy habits, self-care practices like my skincare and going on a walk. I think I wanted to really emphasize that self-care can look like going to the beach and having a lot of fun, reading and relaxing, napping, but it could also look like today, which is more of an ordinary day where I do have some duties to complete, whether it be for the household, like grocery shopping and taking the dishes out or schoolwork and just regular work attending meetings. I also want to include how I plan for Europe in this video. Just very straightforward, so I don't know if it deserves its own video. So I'm just going to combine that part of the little mini series into this little self-care vlog. Because planning a trip is also, to me, like self-care because I really enjoy it. This is the breakfast setup. It's more like brunch because I woke up a little later than usual, so I have my usual scrambled eggs and avocado toast, and I've been trying to drink celery juice every day or adding at least frozen celery pieces into my smoothies, so I did that yesterday, but now I'm drinking celery juice today, and I usually eat turkey bacon, but I ran out, so that's why we're going to go grocery shopping. So this is the outfit for running errands. I'm going to get groceries. This was thrifted, this BB tank from Guatemala. This is just a plain gray hoodie, I think from Walmart. And then these biker shorts are from Aerie. And then I'm just gonna wear sneakers and then I have my hoops. This is the new setup for my flowers. I put it in this cute book vase that my sister got me and then I have a tiny little candle and a little coaster, a crochet coaster from Guatemala. And then we have the other set of flowers, put it on my nightstand, the yellow tulips. I'm so excited for them to bloom. So right now I'm working on my Europe itinerary slash list of things to do and I'm going to show you my process. It's not finalized. There are still a few things that I need to do, actually like a handful of things, but I'm just going to show you the general layout of how I like to organize the activities and restaurants we want to go to. Welcome to my Google Docs. This is my rough draft itinerary for our Europe vacation. And at the very top, I wrote down my process of how I like to create an itinerary. So first, I will search for activities and restaurants in social media. So I usually use TikTok, Pinterest, and YouTube. I usually start off with TikTok, very short form content, and then I will look on Pinterest and then long form content on YouTube. And I usually search for these things like things to do in, restaurants in and then I just insert the location itinerary for and I will alternate doing that for each location then once I create a general list I will add it into the Google Doc in this format where I divide it by restaurants sites and activities and once I create a list on Google Docs I will create a guide on Apple Maps and this is one of the best things to exist honestly it makes it so convenient and you can share it with people so I create a guide on Apple Maps and I put all of these sites all these restaurants into that guide and then I organize this same list by distance using the Apple Maps guide so the Apple Maps guide definitely helps when you're on the go and you're searching for directions on your phone then I will look through this table for each location and highlight our top picks. This is a collective effort, so it takes a little longer. So I don't have that many things highlighted in these docs. But once everything has been highlighted 
and we find a consensus on where to go based off of the highlighted locations. We will go ahead and purchase tickets or reserve restaurants in advance and then add them to the final itinerary. So underneath each location is a table with these main things, restaurants, sites, and activities. And underneath that is going to be an itinerary. And this is what we have so far based off of what my sister decided. Then this is what Spain is looking like. We have the restaurant sites and activities. And then this is what the itinerary is looking like for Spain so far. We plan to do a day trip in Toledo and I made a separate list for that. I had already included all these on Google Maps guides. This is Barcelona. We haven't highlighted anything here. So there's still a couple things to do. And this is the itinerary so far. I like to also add our transportation like trains and flights and all of that good stuff so that everything is organized and we know when to check out of the hotel. So usually I like to have the itinerary done ASAP, but since I'm with my family, they have different ideas in mind and the process is a little bit slower because we all need to come to a consensus of the things that we want to do. But for the most part, everything important is booked already, like the hotel and flights. And my dad ended up booking us a cruise. So we're gonna be going on a cruise. It's gonna be my first time, so that's exciting. And it also takes away a lot of the planning. So we only really just need to plan for Portugal and Spain. So those are the main two places. And yeah, that's the draft of my itinerary and just the process. And that's what I'm gonna be working on for the next couple of weeks until we actually fly all the way to Europe. For dinner, I'm having spicy salmon with cucumber, kimchi, and rice. And this is one of my favorite dinners. Very easy to make. And then I'm walking outside. Look at that cute little rabbit. But I love outside walks in the summer. Here are some products I've been using lately. I think the main thing that I'm showing that I have been obsessed with is body oil and the glycolic acid. I also have been obsessed with dandelion root tea. This smells so good. After eating dessert, I decided to journal so I could organize my thoughts, process my emotions, and just clear my head. And those are some of my self-care habits. Thanks for watching. Bye.